first reactions after that? Playoff basketball. That's uh, what the first two games have been. Um, you know, so game three, let's go. I don't think you could ask for much more the way you played from the start of the game and it felt like you were in control for a lot of the first half. Did you like the way that you, you did come out aggressively? Oh, absolutely. Like, uh, if you come down here and you're, you're tentative or you're passive, uh, it's going to be a long night. So I did like the way we got out of the gate and... Uh, you know, we're at the time of the year where you got two good teams playing against each other, so uh, I would expect a very good contest. What did you think changed probably halfway through the third quarter, the rest of the way, where they were sort of gradually able to sort of work on top in, in some areas? Uh, just briefly looking at the box score and the way the game's played these days, like three point shooting becomes pretty, pretty important in it all. Uh, I think they made nine. We only made five. Um, someone like Majuk Deng um, took took his his opportunity tonight, and and made made the most of his opportunity. Uh, you've seen in this league, uh, everyone talks about injuries, but uh, teams teams uh, have unbelievable records when they're perceived to be down men on their rosters. How's Keanu? It looked like he was struggling a little bit just before half time, but then basically he looked okay in the second half before he, he found out. How, is he okay? Yeah, he just got in, he just got in some foul trouble, and uh, when when you get in uh, early foul trouble, sometimes it's hard to find a rhythm in the game. Uh, you know, the other night, game one, he was in a great rhythm because. Uh, he was out there getting up and down uh, tonight. Those fouls, just you know, it's it's a, it's a rhythm game, and he just couldn't find it tonight. Christian, how are you feeling after that game? We lost. What did you think changed, sort of, in that second half? What did you see out there that changed, where you sort of felt like you had the control in the first half, but they gradually sort of worked on top? What what changed in your in your eyes? They started playing more aggressive than us. Um, Doyle found a rhythm, um, started hitting threes. Um, you know, been able to, they were able to hit the roll, and Magne was able to um, draw fouls and, and make uh, big free throws. And McVay stepped up when needed to. Like he said, Dang, um, I think that's how he said, Dang, he came in, you know, he, he missed one shot. And so, um, you know, unexpected point production. So, um, they stepped up. They, the season was on the line, and they stepped up, and we, we got to be ready to do the same when we go back to Perth. These are the moments you play for, play basketball for to get to game three of a playoff series, but a championship series on the line. I know it's a short turnaround, Christian, but how excited are you for the chance to to get that win on on Wednesday at home? Um, very excited. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Craig, go ahead. Hey, John, how, how challenging was it tonight when you had Gian obviously in foul trouble, Christian has four for a while as well, and, and Jesse four also. Was it difficult getting a combination out and thought you could be as aggressive as you wanted to defensively? Yeah, look, uh, we had a couple games throughout the regular season that kind of mirrored that where you're trying to, uh, you know, manage guys with fouls. But then, as you mentioned, like trying to find a rhythm and a continuity. Uh, and, and it's just not with the bigs on the floor. It's ha how they're in sync with the perimeter players as well. So, um, you know, towards the end of the second quarter, you know, when two or three of those guys had two fouls, like, you know, it was it was a physical game. Um, you know, so I wanted to be mindful, uh, you know, that we had as many bodies available at, down the stretch of the game. And when that's going on and the momentum's going against you, how challenging, how difficult is it to get back on a real wave court? Like you saw the momentum change for you guys on your home court, they, they were on, on, on their home court as well. Does it play a massive part? Oh, it, it does. Now, the other night we made the plays, tonight they made the plays. Like I. I got to watch the game. Uh, a little emotional about it right now, but like I do think we got some good looks and and so forth. Um, we didn't capitalize on, in in those times. Uh, th they did, and uh, we did the opposite in game one. So, um, it, it, as I keep saying, it's two great teams trying trying to fight their way to the the grand final.
And from the three-point the three shooting perspective, was it just you missed, or did they put you under more pressure with your field? Was it their defensive work, or was it your guys just, just not being on target tonight? Uh, I'll have to watch, but I, I think just like the, the quality of them, I, I think we, um, you know, maybe got a little too excited with some of them instead of, you know, getting through our offense a little more so they would just be like naked, very comfortable three point shots. Thank you. Uh, Short turnaround now, you fly back home tomorrow and then get ready for game three on, on Wednesday, both teams in the same situation, but what are your, what are your immediate thoughts now when you look towards what you need to do on Wednesday night? Oh, like the players need to do their recovery, look after their bodies, myself and the staff will will obviously look at the game and, and see uh, where we can capitalize offensively, but then defensively how we can just tighten up a little bit. You can see uh, probably in the first 15 minutes we were really dialed in defensively and very disruptive, but um, you know, I got to see the adjustments that they made and uh, we'll, we'll hopefully tailor made our defense so we can conquer those adjustments. Thank you very much. You're all good guys, thank you. Thanks.